Totally forgot to record an intro for this video, but this is basically like an average day in life of me doing my YouTube stuff and my full-time job. And then I also found out that somebody destroyed my skate park. We're at the construction site. Show you a little bit what I do. Probably see you guys back at lunch and then hopefully home to skate and uh, see what else is going on. Also been trying to like come up with some designs. I have like my own kind of brand called Sickle Pop or whatever. It's like a skateboard positive brand, but I kind of want to do something different like with it in the stuff almost like a different line in it or whatever not really sure i was thinking of doing like the uh embroidered shirts and stuff like that but i have some of these kind of like random ideas i want to do like a smiley face thing i was trying to be like i am happy but like making a winking smiley face i don't really know and i drew this because i was bored i don't i don't know but I'm trying to come up with some cool designs that people would want to wear <laughs> I literally about crapped my pants because something landed on my face and I thought it was a monster and it's just this little tiny demon. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Why are you working so hard? So I didn't record during lunch, but I just had a couple of corn dogs. And uh, it was pretty slow, so I was able to actually make a short. I'm gonna try to post a short every day for 30 days and see if that helps the channel grow. And if it does, then I'm gonna try to do shorts every single day and uh, continue with my videos every week. So hopefully it works. We'll see what happens. And uh, maybe you guys can help watch the channel grow and see how it goes. All right, finally in my truck. I'm gonna start heading home and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain today. It's looking a little cloudy, but if not, I can't skate, so then I'll probably just work on some other uh, video stuff because I'm trying to do more videos and more things. So, uh, yeah, anywho, see you guys when I get home, and uh, hopefully it's not raining. Maybe I'll check the weather. All right, I'm home. I mean, I normally shower, but since I've been skating again, I kind of wait because I get all sweaty. It's like 100 degrees outside but also I want to show you guys this. I got a 3D printer. Whoops. And I've been making uh, Mandalorian armor because Star Wars is awesome. But look at this freaking helmet I made. <laughs> I made it to look like something from like Borderlands, the video game. Pretty awesome. But uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go skate. I don't know why I ended that last clip with like a question mark, but uh, there's a little tiny crappy skate park in this uh, public park. And it has like a little rail so you can do grinds and it has like a little uh, launch pad to do tricks off of. And I'm skating goofy even though I'm regular because I'm trying to get used to skating switch. And it feels so weird. Pay no attention to the really messed up vans. That's what shoe goo's for pulled up to the uh, quote-unquote skate park and uh, that doesn't look like skate park anymore guys look over here there was a rail right here it is fairly small but now that there's nothing here it's like come on there's a little ramp there the launch pad was right there in the middle and now it's what even is this? Racquetball? Oh, man. Guys, I'm freaking bummed. Like, I called somebody about it, and uh, they said they thought they were remodeling it. I was hoping, like, you know, adding more stuff, making it a cooler skate park. But apparently, not enough people skate out here that they just put up this little net. So, you know what? It used to be a skate park, so I'm going to have a little flat ground session, try and clean up my tricks. Uh, after not skating for a long time, I don't even know what tricks I have in my bag anymore. I used to be able to do like big old kick flips and inward heel flips and stuff like that. So we'll try some, but uh, I mostly just need to practice my tricks and get them clean. But I guess I'm gonna have to find another skate park to go to. <sighs> Crap. in their hair 
you're out of here. Some people wanted to play badminton or whatever that is. So I'm in the basketball court now, but people play basketball here all the time. So we'll see how long I can actually stay here. Let me try to get a clean kickflip because they've all been ugly today so far. about to give up on life because of a fakey flip. A fakey flip. It wasn't even that hard. Oh, we tried two more times. If I don't land it, I'm moving on. It's way too hot out here. Ooh, yeah. I said I only tried two times. I did two times, landed it, and it slipped out from under me. I'm happy. That's what happens when you don't skate for a long time and you're basically starting from ground zero again. It's not like I start completely over, like I still am comfortable riding and I can do like crappy ollies and crappy versions of the tricks I used to know. But the more tricky ones like fakey kick flips and burial flips ones take more skill and practice. All those are gone, so it's almost like I'm not starting from zero, but it's not like a bike where you just remember it right away. Like, I'm basically back at like, I don't know, six months of progress, but whew, we'll get back to it. It's only day four. I think it's only day four of me skating again. So honestly, not bad. I've landed, I've landed some fakey flips, just can't get one today for some reason. It's way too hot. And I got to take my sister to her volleyball practice. So. We must move on. Let's stay positive. We will prosper. Oh, let's go ahead and ride. Love this grip tape. Love it. I designed it myself. Sickle Pop, my brand. I'm back home. It was a pretty good day. And uh, I even went by and dropped off my brother's uh, weight vest because he wants it back. But I'm gonna probably make some coffee because I'm tired and I'm gonna watch Gossip Girl with my wife because it's good. So uh, yeah, peace out. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.